One eternity later. Today on Thunder Bear 4-Wheel Drive, uh, we're back working on stuff. So we're going to put this engine in that Jeep. Hey everybody, so it's been a minute or two or days, weeks, months since I've done a video. Um, had a lot of stuff going on in my life. Uh, between my day job and personal stuff and uh, the channel has basically suffered from that and uh, it kind of is what it is so um, I needed to prioritize some things and not that I don't care about the channel it's just that other things had a higher importance in this time period so that's why I was doing those things and not making videos so we've been working on my son's engine for uh, almost two years now. We finally have it back to the point where it is assembled and we can put it in his Jeep. And so we're going to get some video of that. And uh, hopefully you guys like what you see. Um, I didn't get hardly, I didn't get any video of us putting the engine together because that was a process that took several months. And he would have to travel from Tri-Cities up to where I live. And long drives. Long drives back and forth. Lots of really weird things like, oh, we don't have this, we don't have that, this broke, we got to find one of these. It was it was kind of a nightmare. So um, we have an assembled engine, going to stick it back in the Jeep, and uh, we're going to go from there. So uh, time to get his rig in the garage so that we can start doing that, and uh, that's what you're going to see next. And there it is, folks. Engine is officially back in the Jeep. And uh, took a couple hours of 
having to, we had to go get a bolt because nothing ever goes the way it's supposed to. So there was a break for that. And then, but it's sitting on its motor mounts now. Everything's tight. It's in its place. We got the slave cylinder hooked back up. It's got good clutch feel. Um, we put a center force clutch in this because we were there um, just doing things to do things. And now it's time to get the injectors back in, get the upper intake on, EGR system in, and just keep plugging away. So time to make a list, which hasn't started yet, and uh, then start checking things off. All right, son, it is time to make a list. So... We need to reinstall the crank position sensor in the bell housing. Get the injectors installed. I'll let you finish writing. Remove EGR valve from old head. I'll just put EGR valve because it needs to be removed and okay. then installed. Um, Upper intake. And that's part of the upper EGR or the EGR. Yeah. We need to make sure all sensors are in the engine. Uh, I just don't know what's missing yet. Yeah. <laughs> Ready for the drive back? Um, Put the starter in, and then get power to the starter so we can crank it. So we have, so we, we can fluids. prime the engine. Fluids. Put oil in it. Yeah, we need. Yeah, put oil in it. Yeah. Uh, oil. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we want to prime everything as best as we can. And this isn't like a small block Chevy where I can put my fancy distributor in and make oil pressure all day long. This is a crank driven oil yep. pump. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, well, yeah. So, um, and then we'll make a new list okay. after all that. So let's get this stuff done first. Well, um, we skipped ahead on the list like a ways. I don't know where the list went to. Behind you. So, here's the list. Or, I can just grab the list and, and put it into something. Like that. So, but we're down. The core support's back in. Um, he's getting ready to do the radiator here in a minute. We're getting the rest of the ignition system put in, and we're going to fire it and make sure it runs. And then, um, once we see it go vroom vroom, we'll go ahead and stuff the radiator in, and he'll get it burped. And I think we're done. Oh. There is some problems with the exhaust, so it's going to be loud, and uh, he's going to fix the exhaust later. We'll just leave it at that. <clears throat> okay, everybody. Moment of truth. Time to see if this thing fires. Okay. Go for it. Let it idle. Yeah. It's working! It's working! <laughs> Two years? Two years, nine months. Nine, ten months. Two. Okay. Woohoo! Congratulations, Thomas. You won your fight. It actually doesn't sound bad with two separate headers. So, so Thomas, tell me, how does it feel that your Jeep is running? You have no fucking idea how happy I am. Okay, take two. Thomas, tell me how good it feels to have your Jeep running. You have no quack idea <laughs> why I am, or how happy I am. <laughs> take three. You have no idea how happy I am right now. Good. So, you're going to put some water in it? Yep. It smells right. like it's cooking. The engine. The engine. Yeah. We've touched about everything on there. I mean, it's going to generate heat. Yeah. So there was a little bit of smoke, so. What would be cooking? Like all of the oil and everything that we've touched. And the Clear. Clear.
Keep coming. Oh, oh. Kill it. 